Hello, welcome back folks to what we got back to the game now where we left off last time uh, talking to Officer Parker. Danny. You so about that secret. So about that secret. Oh yeah, my secret. Well you're my pal, so I can tell you, but don't let it get out. I've been working for Tannen for over a month now. What? It's true. All I gotta do is look the other way while evidence is getting destroyed or a truck full of gin is coming across the county line and Tim makes sure an extra bunch of bills makes their way into my pay envelope. Great deal, huh? Not really. No, not a great deal. What's the problem? People need to drink, right? As long as no one's getting hurt, why shouldn't Daniel J. Parker make a few bucks on the action? But people are getting hurt. Kid's a killer. Ah, oh, that's just rumors and circumnavigational evidence. Circumstantial Although, evidence, I think you'd That up. wall of fame is pretty spooky. Oh, God. I've made a horrible mistake. Yes, you have. I thought if I could get my hands on some money, that Betty'd take me back. But when she finds out what I've done, she'll never even talk to me again. What have I done? <laughs> don't think about that. You can still fix Come on, Danny, pull yourself together. It's not so bad. Not so bad? I'm a corrupt cop who's lost his only chance at true love. How's that not so bad? <laughs> you can still get things. Okay, now we're in, there, Danny. in a different mood. Oh, we can God. still get everything back. Let's see if we can find you should care. I think that's the next one. Yes, there we go. You should care. You should much better by her than by Edna. She's right. I can turn my life around. Sure you can. You know what? I used to be a good cop. And yeah, I've had a few bad breaks. Possibly even a psychotic one that caused me to imagine a disappearing space car. I love what we just good good man. For the Nia. Yeah. And all I need to do to win Betty back is be the same good man I always was. Suddenly sober though. The chips fall where they may. Alright. So So now, all these songs can make so broken. That's the case. Wait for the moment That's to take great. down Kid Tannen. Restore my good name. To be fair, and win adrenaline back the heart can make so broken. Maybe hearing that Hold song that even thought. adrenaline. I bet that, that, that moment is cool. just around the corner. Right. What is it? Ah, I remember now. Now I remember how you get that conversation with Kid. You have to go outside, don't you? There's one of them. Artie? It's not really a puddle you game. You missed a hell of a party, buddy. Kid, well, what happened? Oh, you're gonna love this. So, I'm hanging out in the club when all of a sudden I get an urge to drain the lizard, right? I come out into the alley, and who do I see? None other than that scrawny, subpoena answering rat, Artie McFly. And get this! The little worms whisper in a way I'll conquistadorial like with my Trixie! Oh, no. Naturally, I pull out Kid Jr. and prepare to put a couple bullets in McFly's really? head, Call which causes Johnny's nose Jr. to stop bleeding You're not because he's a big wuss. And then, <laughs> and then, <laughs> what? Trixie literally gets down on the knees and begs me to let him live. <laughs> kind of a reference to earlier Seriously, on, but down on the knees, the crying kind of and begging for McFly's life. Because if you so, remember uh, what when you we do? started this episode, what could I kid do? said that I, I fired never two shots in the air and told Artie to take a hike. Remember your grandfather? That was merciful. Hey, I got plenty of mercy. Besides, well, now Trixie owes me big we time. Been gone and Kid Tannen always that, collects so on his debts. Always. Yeah, I wonder what kind of debt that would have been. Okay, we've done that one. Welcome back, sir. Thank you, Matches. Boss? Do you mind? I'm trying to have a good time here. I think you'll want to see this. 
Are you crazy? Bringing a stick of dynamite into my club? That's just it, boss. It's all over the place. I think our speakeasy arsonist is getting ready to strike again. So that means it's not Doc. Of course, we knew it wasn't Doc anyway, but it does basically prove it wasn't Doc. Now look at this. Ah, I think we can do it now. Voila! Nice job. Now, go tell them chumps at the New Yorker. I might do, you know. I think we can do it now. You in? Let's try it. Seven. <sighs> You win? Two. Uh -huh. You win? Eight. Let's just keep trying better than red actually. You win? Ah, oh, press the wrong one there. Twenty-three. Yeah. You win? Remember gone red, not black. I think you remember. Twenty-nine. Ah. What is the combination? I can never remember. You win. Sorry, folks. Uh, sorry about that, folks. Now, I've got it like that today. I've just realised something. I really messed up here. Do you remember when I said there was a trophy over here? Well, there is. The trouble is, you can't get it now, because if you remember when we was in when we was, when we was in the speakers before, when we were trying to get Arthur out of it, when he was when he was being, uh, were basically questioned by kid and that lot. It turns out I'd forgotten there was a piece of paper on there. Not the piece of paper I told you not to look at, but there's another piece of paper that you're supposed to look at that says something like seven something and some and something else, and that's the code for that. But you can't select it now because you haven't seen the paper. You win. And that's what I was looking for. It's not there, so I can't get the trophy. But basically, you have you, when you do, do look at that paper, and then you get the trophy. Also, Eight neglected rats. to mention that because you didn't look at the other paper, which cheated you, you get the prize for guessing the door thing. Right now, where was I? I have to uh, get Trixie, I believe. Uh, Trixie? Yeah. Break a leg out there. Thanks. I've always wondered about that saying, break a leg. That, didn't that say, that's, that's always come across as a really bad thing to me now. But now what are we going to do? We need to get this. Press right button, gone. Wrong button. Wait a minute, where's... I haven't already done it, have I? What have I done here? I still... Hey! What? Talk to you later. Hey look! A paying customer! Oh, maybe I have to go outside again, have I missed that? I did have to stop recording for a bit there and uh, to close the game down because uh, basically I had to, I've had to have my door repaired recently so did I miss something? I think I missed something. I have to go find the blood again. Artie? 
You missed a hell of a party, buddy. Kid, what happened? Oh, you're gonna love this. I'm so, up. I'm hanging out in the club when all of a sudden I get an urge to drain the lizard, right? I come out into the alley, and who do I see? None other than that scrawny, subpoena answering rat, Artie McFly. And get this! The little worms whispering away all conquistadorial like with my Trixie! Oh no! Pointing out something. How did you get a gun map? Because out Kid the German first to put a couple of bullets in the head, desert. which causes all these things to stop because he's a big wuss. And then, <laughs> and then, it might, it might have gone back <laughs> into the van, but Trixie literally gets down on the knees and begs me to let him live. <laughs> huh? Seriously, down on her knees, crying and begging for McFly's life. So, uh, what did you do? What could I do? I fired two shots in the air and told Audie to take a hike. Oh, that was merciful. Hey, I got plenty of mercy. Besides, now Trixie owes me big time. And Kid Tannen always collects on his debts. Always. Yeah, because you're always a douche. Let's go back in. I don't know what. I think it's because I had to stop recording and go back out. Welcome back, sir. Oh, something like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Boss? Do you mind? I'm trying to have a good time here. Well, maybe. I think I you'll maybe stop see this. sitting around and just sitting there doing nothing. Are you crazy? Bringing a stick of dynamite into my club? That's just it, boss. It's all over the place. I think our speakeasy arsonist is getting ready to strike again. So, well, it's obviously we knew it wouldn't dock, but it's supposedly it can't be dock. See, this is what would have happened if I'd have done it right. If I'd have remembered to uh, put the uh, in. Unfortunately, I forgot the paper. But you have to do it Voila. after that. Okay, nice job. Again. Now, go tell them chumps at the New Yorker. I will do because you're a pretty good eyes, mate. Right now, what we do now? Now we fixed off the pack. We go over there. The controls in this are a bit funny sometimes. Man, that really looks a lot like my dad and my granddad. Sorry about this, Dad. Uh, just bear with me a moment, just check a message. So yeah, we can't get that unfortunately because I missed the paper. But now we go talk to Trixie. You should care. Much better song for her. Uh, Trixie? Yeah? I talked to Kid. Oh? He told me about Artie. Oh. It was awesome of you to plead for his life. Awesome, really? And it was the awesome of Kid to spare it. So you see why I gotta get rid of all the dirt I got on Kid. As long as he's loyal to me, I gotta stay loyal to him. Look who made the Wall of Fame. I don't know how to tell you this, but I think you should check out the Wall of Fame. Why? What is it? Artie! <gasps> I don't believe it! Epic music. We had a deal! Artie was supposed to be safe! I don't know what to say. Well, I do. I think that's now we need talks. tax evasion. What? Before he died, Artie was teaching me about all sorts of stuff. Literature, history, accounting. And I made a big discovery while I was copying all of Kid's books. You know that epic music pops This up. establishment ain't entirely topping. on the up and up. You don't say Really? It. Oh, I knew about all the gangster stuff. That kind of thing you expect from tough guys like Kid. But when I found out he ain't been paying taxes on his speakeasy profits, no, no. well, cheating Uncle Sam is one step over the line. That's actually interesting. Once I turn biggest... this over to the police, they'll throw the book at him. This book... Hey, copper! Well, that's interesting because Al Capone, the worst gangster in the world, actually got caught, got arrested for tax evasion. That's how they got they caught him in the end. So it's interesting they've added that into here. And now we saw that you will get more money. What happened to my louse of an ex-boyfriend? I don't know. 
Rats. I told the chief we need a team of bloodhounds like they got over in Placerville. Yeah, but in the meantime... All right, everyone. Party's over. Everyone out of the speakeasy. Speakeasy? You're mistaken, officer. This is an ice cream parlor. Sure. Nice try, you. Out! Go on, Dunner. Valenti might be willing to help uh, defuse this little situation. Maybe. I'm gonna say no. I don't know. The Valenti mob doesn't like being associated with losers. Hey, we ain't begging here. Kid just thought JJ might like a piece of the action. Especially now that he's just caught the speakeasy arsonist. Wait, you mean Doc? Doc? You ain't with the Valenti gang at all, are you? Yes, I am. What do you know about the arsonist? Come on, you. Off to the station house. Oh, how Kid's would you know about the nickname? Rat. He's gonna get all of you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure he is. Well, that's that. Thanks to Miss Trotter's evidence, the entire Hill Valley Police Force is out looking for Kid and his goons. Well, you don't understand. We've got to find him now. He's captured a friend of mine. Who? Um. Uh, never mind. Don't worry. We've got the entire town square sealed off. If Tannen's within a mile of here, we'll find him eventually. I don't think you will. Uh, I don't think we have time for eventually. I know. Uh, is there something on the barrel? Parker must have confiscated this hooch from the speakeasy. Where is it now? I know there's something I'm supposed to- Ah, there it is. Irving Kid Tannen. Guess he dropped this on his way out. Yes, he did. It's empty. Figures. Why would you- I thought you didn't- You're underage, mate, while you're drinking it. Now, we Einstein, we need your brilliant nose. Hey, Einie, get your nose over here. I don't think Tannen and Doc are with Herbert Hoover, Einie. Okay, okay, I'll check it out. A button? Yep. A button. Alright, Doc, here I come. I think I'm actually gonna leave this Rocket. last episode. What because... are you doing here? You can't know. Uh, never mind. Come here and help me get rid of this stinking arsonist. Edna? Oh, so Caught it was in there all along. While he was clearing out the soup kitchen. Guess Sagan was innocent after all. I was researching a story, you ignoramus! Tell it to Jesus. St. Peter's sister. Hey, what's all this? Parker? Tannen, you're under arrest. Get him, Sacramento boy. I can't do that, kid. What? Oh, I get it. Why don't you let go of Miss Strickland and call it a night? Hey, look over there! Really the same trick that. Watch out! Same trick that, um, not used. Give it up, Tannen. The alley's blocked off and so are the roads out of town. It's over. Over? Nothing is over until Kid Tannen says it's over. Right, I'm going to leave it here, folks. So in the next part, we will finish this episode. Thank you for watching. See you then.